What's going on fam? Just got to the gym. We are gonna be doing some glute isolation today. So just a reminder, if you want to grow that bubble butt, you should be hitting your glutes at least two times a week. And if you're really keen, you have the ability to train a little bit more, even three times is ideal. So follow along with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe so we can keep building our glutes together and getting fit year round with ease. All right, fam, getting into the workout here, we're just gonna start off with a little bit of glute activation as always with our fabric resistance band just to quickly get warmed up. So just taking like two minutes, do some squats, some lateral steps, kickbacks, etc., And then we're gonna dive into our first exercises. So we're starting off with our pre-exhaust. So where we're doing two exercises that are a little bit more isolating and a little bit easier. So that way, again, we're really warming up the legs and glutes so that by the time we're getting into our heavier hip thrusts and that kind of stuff, that the legs and glutes are gonna be super responsive because they've already been very stimulated. So first doing some good old abductions. I like to lean forward a little bit here and just really control the range of motion. This is so important. You don't wanna be flying through these reps. You wanna be pushing the weight out to the side and really feeling like you're controlling muscle mind connection with the glutes the entire time. And I like to give a little pause and hold at the very top of the movement. So we're doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps with our abductions. And then next we're moving into some reverse hypers. So this gym had the reverse hyper extension contraption where you're actually completely parallel to the floor and then you can raise your back up and you're lifting from the glutes, from the hamstrings. So if your gym has this, I highly recommend it because it's just a really amazing way to absolutely annihilate those hamstrings. But if your gym doesn't have this parallel setup, you can always do the 45 degree hyper as well. That's totally fine. So same here, we're not doing any weight. We're just really trying to warm up, activate those glutes and legs. So really controlling the range of motion, making sure that you're lifting from the glutes, lifting from the hamstrings, muscle mind connection, controlling the range of motion, and we're doing 15 to 20 reps here. Okay, so now that we have done our pre-exhaust exercises, we're getting into the more difficult exercises where we're gonna overload the glutes a little bit more with a little bit more weight. So next up, we have some cast glute bridges. So this is a nice variation just from your regular hip thrust because the difference between a hip thrust and a cast glute bridge is that a hip thrust, you're going to be also using a lot of kind of hamstrings. You're gonna be thrusting the weight all the way up and then lowering back down to the ground. Whereas with a glute bridge, it's kind of just a partial rep and it's really, Really, really purely isolating the glutes, really not using any hamstrings because you're pretty much just doing half of the range of motion. So really think all about scooping the tailbone here. It is completely coming from this tailbone range of motion. So think like you're scooping ice cream, you're lowering down that tailbone just a little bit, literally just a few inches, and then you're scooping it back up, thrusting it all the way up to where your chest, abs, and knees are gonna be in a complete straight line and your abs are gonna be flexed nice and hard. So getting that full hip extension, but also not overextending to where your hips would be like thrusted further up than that. So giving that nice partial rep, really isolating the glutes. And we're doing this for 15 reps for three sets. And then this is the perfect moment to go take your booty selfie, ladies, because after you do some heavy-ish isolating glute exercises like hip thrusts or glute bridges, your booty is gonna be very pumped. So this is the moment to get that snapshot in the mirror and just be so proud of all your hard work. Okay, moving into an exercise I haven't done in a very long time, and that is some dumbbell step ups, but I'm doing them in a slightly different way. And once again here, it is all about time under tension. We are not trying to lift a whole bunch of weight. We are not trying to go for strength. We're really just trying to muscle mind connection and really isolate the desired muscle. So step ups I find are just so amazing for hitting that underbutt area. So really kind of the lower glutes and where it ties into the hamstring, the glute ham tie-in if you will. So you wanna get some sort of step up bench and lean it against something where you're gonna be able to grab onto some sort of pole. So I just did this right next to the cables. It's gonna depend on the setup you have in your gym. And the box that I was using, I set it to 24 inches, which I found was a really good height. You don't want it to be too low because obviously then you're not gonna be getting as much of a range of motion. And then the higher it is, the more challenging it's gonna be, of course. But this one is all about control. We're really trying to move slow through the movement. So I am literally only using a 15 pound dumbbell and then I'm stepping up on the bench and trying to push through that elevated heel to lift myself up and really trying to count one, two, three, coming up, little pause at the top and then really trying to control myself as I lower back down. So it doesn't look that hard, but by the time you're getting to the end of your reps, your heart is gonna be pounding and you are really going to feel those glutes and legs on fire. So we're doing three sets of 12 reps here. So those were our four glute and leg exercises. And now we are just gonna finish off with a tiny bit of calves. I have a bunch of calves in my split currently.
currently. My coach is trying to get me to develop those and I must admit, normally I've been really lazy about targeting calves. So this is actually kind of good that I'm being forced to do it because otherwise I just kind of wouldn't. But if you're somebody who doesn't really care about building your calves, you could skip this. So we're just doing some seated calf raises. And again here, you really don't need that much weight because the calves are pretty small muscles and a little weight goes a long way. I just have one 45 pound plate, but honestly, even that was kind of heavy. I think I'm gonna go down a little bit next time. And we're doing 15 reps for three sets and you're just literally elevating your calves, pushing up through your toes here, giving a little flex and squeeze at the top and then lowering back down. All right, fam, that is the end of the workout. Good job. I hope you give this workout a try and get a beautiful glute pump yourself and build out that bubble butt. So if there's anything else you wanna see from me, comment down below. I'd love to know what types of workouts you're interested in. And if you would like some more follow along workouts, you can always download my free workout guide, which also comes with free sample meal plans in the description box. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.